Hi everyone, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from today I will start a new video tutorial series on PHP Code Igniter which is one of the widely used PHP framework and I will discuss how to design and how to develop a fully functional college management system where you can create different admins and you can create different colleges and you can assign different co-admins to different colleges okay so in this video tutorial series of php code uniter we will try to cover or we'll try to learn different concepts of code uniter and we will try to learn this framework completely from the beginning to the end okay now in this complete tutorial series let us first discuss what are those features that we are going to cover okay so first we will discuss how to register an admin once we register the admin then we will log in to our system using that admin okay once we logged in then we will create different colleges and then we will start adding co-admins to different colleges okay once we add co-admins to our colleges then we start adding or creating different students okay and we will start maintaining the details of different students we will view the details of the student we will update the details of the students okay and we, we, we will display the details of co-admins as well okay and then we have two types of roles here in this application one is admin and another one is co-admin okay there will be a different dashboard for the admin and there will be a different dashboard for co-admin when admin gets logged in he will be going to view all the colleges list okay and the students present in each and every college and when a co-admin gets logged into the system then co-admin will be able to see the students details of only that college okay so this complete application we are going to develop in this tutorial series okay so now this is our home page okay so we have two buttons admin register and admin login so when i click on admin register it will allow me to enter the details for the admin okay so now i am creating an admin for my application so i will write down will enter the name of the admin and then i will enter the email id and then i will select the gender okay so now here uh, you can see i have left some of the fields and now at this point if i try to click on this register button it will give me a uh, messages like the role field is required password and confirm password field is required okay so all these forms are fully validated okay so you cannot submit the form without entering or without um, or leaving any of the text boxes okay, so we'll uh, learn how we can validate our forms okay so now i will select the gender as male and role as admin so we have two roles as i have said admin and co-admin okay and then i will enter the password and then i will re-enter the password and now when i click on this register then you can see it has returned me a message as admin registered successfully that means we have successfully created our admin for our application okay now if i go to my database and now if i click on this users table then you will see one record gets inserted inside the table okay like username college id email gender and you can see password is is encrypted as well okay so this is the role id okay, role id 1 is for admin and role id 2 is for co-admin okay so now i have created a roles tables as well inside my database where i have stored two records one is for admin and another one is for co-admin okay so here you can see admin it has one id 1 and co-admin it has id 2 okay now you can see for college id it has entered the value of zero because this admin is not related to any specific college this admin is related to all the colleges so it doesn't have any college id but when we'll be creating co-admin and when we'll create college and co-admin and when we assign co-admin to any of the college at that time each and every user will have its own college id okay to which it is belongs to okay, so now let's come back to our application okay so now we have created our admin 
this one i will go to my home page okay now you can see previously there was two buttons one was admin register and second one was admin login so now since we have created the admin so now there is no need for us to display the same button okay so if i remove the entry of a user from this table then it will again show me the register admin button okay so now we have already created the admin and now we no need to display admin register button okay so now the thing is we just need to click on admin login button to log into the system okay so now i will enter the email id that i have created just few minutes back okay so now if i enter the wrong password to try to log into the system then it will give me an error as enter email or password is incorrect okay so now i will enter the correct email and password okay and now when i click on login now it will take me to the admin dashboard okay so now here you can see it's displaying me a message my username as well welcome Mahmushi. okay so here this is my dashboard i have three buttons inside my dashboard add college add co admin and add students okay so admin can perform these many tasks admin can add colleges different colleges admin can add co-admin and assign college to each and every co-admin and admin can add the students for different colleges okay so now i will add a college first okay so for uh, let me just click on this add college i will create first college as abc and i will give it a branch name is bangalore i will create a college okay now you can see it has written me a message as college created successfully now i will create another college branch as hyderabad okay now you can see second college also created and i will click on college name third college i will also create okay now i have created three colleges so i will go back okay now i will add co-admin for each and every college okay so here i will first select the username for my colleges okay so i will enter the username and I, here i will select the college name okay so here you can see it's displaying me all those colleges that i have created just few minutes back okay so if i go to the database and now if i click on this colleges table okay now you can see uh, these are the three colleges that we had inserted or we had added just few minutes back okay so the moment these colleges gets inserted inside this table here now when i'm adding the co admin at this time it's displaying those three colleges inside this drop down these three colleges are coming from the database okay i will select the college okay so now i am assigning this george fernandez user as a co admin for this abc college okay i will select the role as co admin and i will select the gender as male and i will give uh, i will set the email and i will set the password okay now i will click on create okay now it has written me a message co admin created successfully okay now if i go to the dashboard now you can see it has displaying me the record for the first user for the first co-admin along with the college name that i have assigned to that co-admin okay so now uh, if i click on this view students okay here you can see right now i don't have any students for this college because i have not added any students that's why it's displaying no record found okay like this i will create different co different co-admins i will just click on add co-admin and then okay username and then i'll select the college and then i'll select the role as co-admin and then gender as male and email id and then i will enter the password okay and now i will click on con create okay now i have created the second co-admin if i click on back to go to the dashboard here you can see the second co-admin is also displaying inside this table on my dashboard okay so i will create another co-admin okay here the second third one is 
Amitab, okay, and then I'll select the college as PQR, which is the third college. I'll select the role as co-admin, and then I will select the gender as male, and okay, and then password. Okay, now I will click on create. Okay, now I have added three co-admins, and I have assigned uh, different colleges to each of these co-admins okay here you can see it's displaying me all the details of my colleges and the co-admins that i have assigned to this college okay so none of my college is having the students okay so if i want to add the student then i can add the student because for adding the student i have to click on this add student button then it will take me to a different form where i can add the student so i will just write the first student radha okay and then I, I will put this student inside the college ABC okay and I will set the gender as female okay and then I will give it a email ID and then course okay and now I will add this student to college ABC okay now if I go to dashboard and now if i click on this view students then the then one student start displaying inside the table okay so this is the one student that we have added inside the abc college here is displaying the details of complete uh, complete details of that student okay now let me add different students in different colleges yeah. so click on add now i will just add it yeah, I will go to dashboard and now when I click on the view students link of second college XYZ then it will display me two students okay because I added two students in that college now if I click on back and if I click on this view students of the third college it will have only one record one student okay now let me go back to the dashboard okay, so here let me come back to the second college okay so now if i want to edit the details of any student then i just have to click on this edit button okay now if at any point of time i want to update the details of any student okay let me just change it to kumar okay and then if i want to add this student to any other college then i can add okay and then i will click on update when I click on update it will give me a message student updated successfully and when I click on back it will take me to the dashboard uh, it will take me to that student list and now you can see previously there was two students present inside XYZ college now we are left with only one student and now if I click on back it will take me to the dashboard and now if I click on view students for the first college and now it will display me two students okay. okay previously there was only one record in this abc college and since i have changed the college for this poor kumar from xyz to abc now you can see in abc college we have we are left with two records okay so this is uh, what we are we are going to develop okay so now let me go back to the dashboard okay so now here you can see if i click on this view co admins link it will display me all the different co-admins that are present inside my uh, inside my application okay so here it's displaying me the names college name to which they have um, they have assigned and branch role gender and email okay if at any point of time i want to edit the details of any co-admin then i can edit okay so if i want to change it to george scissor and password okay then it can and then it can allow me to update that okay so here you can see previously it was george fernandez now it has changed to george this was okay now let me just click on this view co admins okay so now the information gets changed okay so this is complete uh, overview of what we are going to create in this complete tutorial series of developing a college management system okay and there is uh, something more left okay so now let me just go back to the dashboard okay so now i will this is the dashboard of the admin okay now let me just log out from the admin dashboard okay now i will log in as a co-admin okay so i will just enter the co-admin user 
name email and password okay so now when i click on login you can see the dashboard is completely different okay so here this is the dashboard of the co admin so it's displaying me a welcome message as welcome Poonam Malhotra okay so because the this Poonam Malhotra is the co admin and it's displaying the student which is been added into into Poonam Malhotra's college okay so Poonam Malhotra is the co admin for XYZ college so it's displaying the students of only XYZ college okay now let me just log out and let me log in as George okay so now George is the co-admin for the ABC college and inside ABC college we have two students that's why it's displaying uh, that's why for this co-admin it's displaying two records okay so now this is everything that we are going to learn uh, how to create in this complete tutorial series of developing college man college management system using PHP code igniter okay so uh, so this is the this is the first video of our tutorial series in this video we saw the different concepts that we are going to create uh, create using php code igniter okay so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this leg out of this video and uh, uh, that's all for this video and if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel i wish i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching